floating minister has been spotted in an official photo taken before Rishi Sunak unveiled his pen. Social media users spotted MP John Glenn apparently hovering on a set of stairs in an image released moments before the chancellor began speaking in part blue circle, and many have now mocked the mystery image, and questioned whether the economic secretary to the treasury has invented an invid Matthew Champion joked, either this guy has incredible core strength or the treasury team has invented invisible chair technology. Another Twitter user said, I think he may be sitting on the red box. But David Waddell said the bizarre shot is an optical illusion. I think it's just how his suit falls, he said. His left left is straight, while his right leg is bent onto the first step. The photo shows the Chancellor pictured on the staircase of number 11 Downing Street alongside his ministerial team. The officials, none of whom are wearing masks, are gathered on the stairs looking up at the photographer while Mr. Sunak, at the top, holds the red box in front of him. The Chancellor has this lunchtime told Brits of his plan to save thousands of jobs with extensions of furlough, that it but his bump for £65 billion budget must be paid back, he warned. The Chancellor made his statement to MPs in the House of Commons ahead of the press conference at 5 p.m., where he has promised to look after the nation through the rest of the Mr. Sunak, delivering only his second budget since becoming Chancellor last year confirmed he would extend a range of support measures to get the nation through the worst of the He promised to help struggling Brits with more support to get people through to the other side. He told the nation today, much has changed. But one thing has stayed the same. I said I would do whatever it takes, I have done. A range of measures were revealed this afternoon. Furlough will be extended for six months until the end of September, with employers coughing up contributions from July. Thousands more people will be brought into the self-employment help schemes, while the fourth self-employed grant of up to £7,500 will come off. Universal Credit's £20 a week boost will continue for another six months, and those on working tax credits will get an extra £500 one-off payment to help. The national living wage will rise to £8.91 from April and the vet cut will be extended for another six months, before going up to 12% for another six months after fuel duty will be also frozen in a huge win for the Sun's Keep It Down campaign, while the stamp duty holiday was extended for another three months and a EU mortgage guarantee scheme will offer 95% loans to first-time buyers to get on the ladder. Elsewhere, UK's COVID vaccine rollout will receive a £1.65 billion